have really uh, enjoyed this call so many years as well. We've actually been meeting every Monday night like this for over 30 years. We've never missed a Monday night. So a wonderful way to stay connected, a great place for uh, information, inspiration, and we're always blessed that we have great people that come that share just those things with us. Uh, again, just for many of you who are joining us for the very first time, to give you a little company background history, the Juice Plus Company is actually 50 years old this year. I entered the marketplace that many years ago with a product I'm sure you're all familiar with today. We were the company that introduced smoke detectors for the home. Obviously, that was a great success and laid the foundation for years to come as far as success was concerned. And so over the years, we've diversified. Uh, in the early 80s, we went into water filtration and then air filtration. All of these products uh, from the very beginning have been multi-billion dollar product lines. Uh, 20, it was been almost 28 years ago now, we entered the field of health technology with Juice Plus and the Juice Plus family of products. And that has really brought us to new heights that were totally unexpected, but what a find not only for our own health and well-being, uh, but for those that we love and those we come across on a daily basis. So we're welcoming you all tonight, and our speaker is one that I know you're going to enjoy a great deal. We've had the great honor of uh, Dr. Jan Young being part of our own organization for many years, and I'll just give you a little background. Uh, Dr. Jan Young is a national marketing director with our company and our team. She's also a 100 Club member, which is the top uh, recognition uh, in our business. But just to give you a little background on her personally, uh, Dr. Jan Young is a naturopathic doctor and a certified body ecologist. Her passion has been wellness education for the past 20 years. Uh, she's accomplished by that by owning natural food stores, organic co-ops, and teaching classes. Juice Plus has always been her recommended nutritional anchor. Uh, Living Towers Farm is Jan's latest venture, and you'll hear about that tonight. It's home to 400 uh, eco-friendly greenhouse that uses tower garden technology. It is a prototype of future family and community food production. Uh, her nutrient-dense produce is sold to individuals, organic co-ops, and restaurants. Uh, the rest is gifted to food banks and groups in need. Teaching others to grow their own tower garden is her focus. It's all about empowering others to make simple lifestyle changes that lead to better health, wealth, and longevity. So tonight she's going to talk to you about the power of the tower, which is a wonderful product uh, in our product line, impacting the health of America one garden at a time, uh, one farm at a time, one family at a time. So, Dr. Young, I'm going to turn it over to you and uh, let you tell the story, okay? Okay. Thank you, Cheryl. And thank you especially for having me on at this time. This, the timing is so perfect. So she'll explain my background, I guess, and you can figure out what my interest in food has always been when it comes to organic or juicing and things like this. So that's why I started with the Juice Plus 20 years ago, sharing it, because 20 years ago, and especially today, we all need nutritional anchors in our life. And to get 30-plus fruits and vegetables in you every day and all those micronutrients is virtually impossible unless you have a plan. And Juice Plus is, as Cheryl mentioned, our plan as to making sure people have that anchor. But we'll fast forward, so I've shared Juice Plus for all of those 20 years, but 10 years ago is when I started growing towers because I went and saw them, Tim, the gentleman who designed them. I went and saw a project he had, and I got excited because I'm all about growing. I've grown in the ground for years, but I've learned as I go, but I also have good soil, et cetera. But I'm in Florida, and growing vertically, growing a tower that was like no weeding and tilling and all of that, that was like very exciting to me. So I did. I did two towers. And then I decided to grow 10 in my driveway because if I was going to share this with other people, I had to really understand the good, bad, and ugly of it. In other words, it's an aeroponic growing machine. You plant baby plants, plug it in, and allow the machine, once you have the food in it, that are mineral tonic, and it grows. It grows produce. It grows a third quicker, sometimes 50% quicker. 
It uses 5% of the water, 10 of the, 10% of the space. I mean, there was like a win-win all the way around. But I found growing 10 towers as a single person is a little crazy unless you have a plant. Because if I'm gone for a week, I come back to a jungle of food. But so the bad and the ugly was only because I found that you have to eat the produce. So it's a good problem to have. Shortly after that, I did build the greenhouse, but I did it not to become a farmer, but it was to show other people that they could grow their own food as well. And that's been for the last 20 years. So, Cheryl, how many times have I done a talk? Like once even a year over maybe the last eight years since Juice Plus Company has been the tower garden company. But in today's world, because of all the commotion we have going on, it's a whole other matter of how important it could be to have control of your health. And I want to tell you one recent story. Now, I'm at home like everyone else is at home and staying in, but I am open as an essential business here in Florida because we do sell produce and baby plants for people to grow their own food. So let's see, two months ago on one Saturday, and I'm only open six hours, 150 people showed up to buy plants, to buy a pump for their tower that they've had for five years and they wanted to make sure they had an extra, to buy a tower garden, to buy, to bring their neighbors over to see so they will take over their own tower garden and not share with their neighbors anymore. It was, that's what started the whole thing. And as the time has gone on, it has been that busy every single time we're open because people are searching for better produce. They want to know they're buying it from somewhere safe. I mean, no one comes in my greenhouse at this moment. They have to stand outside, and they can be 50 feet apart if they choose. But the point of it is, all of a sudden, the skies opened among all this chaos, and people are thinking, what can I do for myself? So growing a tower, growing a garden, buying produce, planting a new garden, sharing it with your mother, buying one because the kids are home, and now we're going to have a whole different venture in our homeschooling because we're going to do a little farming and agriculture class. I mean, it's kind of gone on and on. But I was so excited after talking towers and loving what I do here to see that sky open and something really good and inspiring come from all of the things we're going on right now. And we're all in the same situation, which is interesting. We're all home. And that's one thing we have in common. We're all eating at home, which for many people, that's not normal. They're usually out and about and eating other places. But now they're making conscious food choices, which is new for many people. Or to think ahead or to have fresh produce in your house, usually for many people, is to run out to the store at the last minute for dinner to know you can have a salad. But you might not have your whole refrigerator stocked to last you for a month if you didn't want to go out and shop. But So we have that in common, but we also have in common the fact that right now, it's interesting. We're thinking more about our health because we've been forced to because that's kind of all around us, but we're really thinking of our health. How healthy are we? Could we be stronger? Do I want to just because I'm mid-60s on the way to 70 be a high risk? Are you kidding me? I don't think so. That would be silly because I know I have control of it. So even though with all the turmoil in the world right now, okay, we're all thinking about a state of health, but that's been necessary for as long as I've been around, not in Juice Plus, but even just in organic foods, and that's been 30 years. In the world we live in now, we don't have a choice but to find some good, solid nutritional anchors. We really don't have a choice. If you wish to build your health, it has to be through food. That's not found in cans or boxes. It literally has to be produce that Mother Nature grew. In the ground or in a tower, because we have duplicated those, that strength and minerals, et cetera. But so right now, I'm excited because so many people have decided to make different choices for themselves. Grow some produce, or at least when this is all done, hopefully, they're going to find that they're going to search out local farmers, make sure that they have a food supply and a really good one. And that doesn't even touch on the economics of supporting your area with all of the commotion we have going on. So we need to choose not to be at risk, but it doesn't apply to us at all. And that was why today I'm more excited than ever about towers. And I know that's a long, drawn-out thing, but this is why. Uh, Eight years ago, when I know I was originally talking to the company about towers because I was so excited, I ran across a sheet 
of one of the in the PowerPoint, and it was the vision of why anybody would possibly look at towers. And if you think about it then, if you think about today, it's a perfect fit. First of all, your food industry concerns. Well, right now, there is an issue with our distribution and food. We need to know where our food comes from. And if you can grow it at all yourself in your backyard with just even a tower to defray maybe 20 to 40% of the food you'd buy at the store, wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be <clears throat> uplifting? The food safety has always been the reason that I was so excited about towers as well because whatever I grow in my tower, I don't ever get a recall. Nobody will tell me I can't eat my lettuce, and I have control who touched it, what I put on it. So it's almost beyond, beyond organic eating because even today with searching out organics, if that lettuce came in a bag, first of all, it's come a long distance and a lot of trucks and coolers, but it had to be rinsed with chemicals to stay in the bag or else we couldn't legally sell it or eat it. So there's all kinds of issues with our food safety that we don't know about. We never think about distribution of food because we take for granted that I'll always have the organic lettuce that Cheryl grows in California, that her neighbors grow, someone there does, and I live in Florida. So safety concern is never an issue if you're growing part of it yourself, especially those leafy greens, especially kale and chard and tomatoes and things that you're handling as they grow and as you're buying. The nutrient density, though, when you grow your own food in a tower, you are guaranteeing the nutrient density. Now, food itself, and most people realize this, especially in this arena that we're talking here, is that the nutritional value of food is produced when it is growing, when it's connected to its roots. Most things that we buy have been not vine ripened. They're picked long ahead of time, okay, and they're developed slowly but surely. But by the time you actually go to the grocery store and buy that tomato or the lettuce or any of the type of things that we can grow, how old is it? How much nutritional value has it lost? On an average, it would be 25 to 50%, depending on what product you're buying. When I grow my food in front of me using the mineral tonic that we use, I know that every 15 minutes when it goes on and the water is trickling down with the minerals, those roots are pulling up all of the minerals that they need to be a strong lettuce, eggplant, tomato, zucchini, whatever plant they are. And that's another amazing reason I grow towers, too. There is one food that can grow anything that grows above the ground that's not a bush or a tree. So that's a lot of plants. So all of these things add up to make a big difference when you're trying to search out maybe a little healthier option. So growing a simple tower can help. Food prices were the next one. How economical is it to buy a tower or to grow your own? Extremely, extremely. Food prices are very volatile. We're kind of finding this out now. We've always known this. But it doesn't take much to disrupt our food coming in from one arena or another. And it depends on what you like. And if you're buying organic, many people don't choose to buy organic because they don't want to pay the price that's there. Understandable. So growing a tower is so economical. A tower, if, if you're buying a tower and you're thinking, wait a minute, I've got to watch my tent pinch my pennies, but I am going to eat healthier, then it's kind of a no-brainer for a choice. Put it on a payment plan. It's 50 some a month. you got to give me two, maybe two and a half months. But at that time, well, it only takes 30 days for a full head of lettuce. And yes, I would have been eating my kale in the second month. But in that third month, I'm not going to the grocery store to buy lettuce, kale, chard, celery, Eggplants, peppers, sugar snaps, beans, tomatoes, cukes, that's economical. Because if you don't have 40 to $50 worth of food in a month that you buy, you're not eating enough vegetables. But if you actually do eat a lot of vegetables, you're simply paying off your tower instead of paying the grocery store. But the difference is huge. So green, it's economical, eco-friendly. When you grow a tower garden, it takes less than a three-foot round area because the tower is vertical. It goes up. It uses 5 to 10% of the water that it takes to make the same organically grown produce in the ground, and yet it grows a third or 50% quicker. 
so there's only two working parts on a tower. So sustainability-wise, you'll own that tower for 10 years or pass it down to your kids and more because there's only two working parts, a pump and a timer. So if you have to replace them because eventually they may go, well, it runs less than 30 bucks to do so. So we're never taking anything out of the environment and we're giving Mother Nature a break. So this way it can continue growing in a tower no matter where I'm located as well. So I don't have to be farming in the ground. I can do it on my porch or I can put lights on it and do it in the house. Locally, yes, we've got to do local eating. There is no doubt about it. So like I mentioned before, go out and check your farms and see who the farmers are in your area and buy from them. That's the easiest thing in the world is to start your own little farm with one tower or two or just depends on how many family members you have. But I know personally I'm a single person, but I wouldn't live with less than three. But I know what towers can give me back. So a normal tower that somebody may grow, and we always grow a tower to look like what most people would choose. And that would have a couple chard, kale, lettuce, herbs, as I mentioned, beans and sugar snaps, perhaps peppers, however many kinds of peppers you like. And then there's the bigger, the zucchini and the yellow squash. Watermelon right now, I do, I do all of my spaghetti squashes and butternut in the fall. So in other words, I literally can reduce my produce buying 40%, 50% because in a tower you can grow anything that grows above the ground, as I said before, that's not a bush or a tree. So I'm, not, I'm still buying my sweet potatoes and onions, and I'm buying bananas and apples because I can't grow a tree in a tower. But other than that, everything else you do yourself. So that you can't get more local than that. But so just more taking control of your house when it comes to a tower, taking that one step can be so big for so many people. And so many people are feeling that way right now. That's why towers have been shared all over this country, all over Canada. And right now, if you're going to order a tower, there'll be a small wait until you have it come. So you'll have plenty of time to decide, what do I eat now? What do I buy? What would I love to be eating organically? Uh, what would I need to be eating more of? Greens? Is it kale? Is it chard? Is it mustard? Is it collard? Whatever it is, you decide what that picture looks like because that's what you're going to grow on your tower. This will also give you a little time if you don't own a tower right now. While you're waiting for your tower garden, you decide what you want to eat and maybe you want to buy some seeds because everything comes with the tower garden ready to grow. You'll have, we don't grow in soil, we grow in rock wool. So you'll have these little teeny cubes that you'll wet and you'll, you'll soak and add your own seeds if you'd like to plant your own seeds. Or you can always order seeds. You can come here if you're in the middle of Florida. Or there's so many different options of having seeds, I mean seedlings, baby plants, shipped to you. Very, very simple. But while you're waiting, see who's going to be involved as well. The one thing I've seen coming out of this, and long before it as well, families are an excellent example. Anyone can grow a tower that's 5 or 95 or in a wheelchair because it's one of the easiest gardens on earth. Once literally it's already set up and you're growing using the minerals, it's just a matter of plugging and playing, literally planting the plants, watching them grow, and then if you've never gardened before, there's learning how to garden. In other words, but there's tons of YouTube videos and instruction available that Tower Garden has all put together for you. So it's a matter of when your basil gets huge, you're going to cut it. If you're not going to use it, share it with your neighbor. You're going to cut and regrow. Towers are a perpetual garden. So for any of your gardeners out there, it's hard to relate when you're planting a garden season, whether you're up in Maryland Florida or California, it doesn't matter where you are. But you plant your garden with full expectation, all these plants are coming up. So if you're going to do kale, you maybe have a whole row of it. If you're doing cabbage, all of these different things. But with a tower, it's a perpetual garden, meaning this. If I have a regular tower of 20 holes, or I add an extension of 28 holes, once I'm growing my plants, only my lettuces for the next six months or anything I'm really going to be replacing. Because the lettuces, some of them I'm going to pull and replace, and others I'm going to cut and regrow. 
but my kale and all of those other things that I mentioned, all of my greens, my herbs, etc., is going to be harvested, cut, and regrown. I'm not pulling out the plant. If you're doing celery juice right now, which is a big buzz, I grow tower with nothing but celery. But I do so not because I'm going to cut the celery off and let the whole plant regrow. I harvest the stalk. So that's what I mean about a perpetual garden. Your garden just doesn't stop unless you say I'm leaving for a month or two and I'm going to break it down. But you don't need to do that. So it's a continual garden. So... Time, energy that we'd spend doing grocery shopping, thinking about food. When you have a tower on your porch or in your backyard, that's where I go for my first food choice. And if we did that regularly, and you don't have to grow a tower to do that. You could go to the markets. You can go to the farmers. You can buy your produce at the store. But if we thought produce, greens, all of the things that we need to be healthier first, and then added the extras that may be in our pantry, we would all be so much healthier. This sounds like a me talk, but I'll give you a good example. What I had for dinner comes off my tower. So I like eggplant parmesan. So it's eggplant parmesan, and I could have done pasta, but instead I have zucchini and peppers and yellow squash and beans out of my towers. So I just chop them up. I do a quick stir fry, and yes, I had marinara in my cupboard. But what I do with it, because I have a tower with greens in, I put it in, but then I also go to the garden and I cut extra oregano, basil, garlic chives, because you can't grow garlic. That grows underneath, right? Only what you can grow above the ground. But I make, I add it to my, along with, I use a whole bunch of chard in my spaghetti sauce. And nobody knows it's there. But the nutritional value of a simple meal is not because I'm being a health food nut, I just like good food. And when you grow your food, you'll have a completely different taste profile as well to go along with the nutritional difference in in your produce. So I can't say enough about towers because it's not just that they work as a growing machine, but they produce so much for people. The joy of growing your own food, being in control of every aspect of it, sharing it with children. Sharing it with kids, we have thousands of schools that grow towers. So if you're growing a tower now and you're excited about it, make sure you're actually sharing it with everybody you know. If you're thinking about a tower, get with the person who invited you. Okay, walk and talk, plant. Walk and talk things so that you're fully confident and you're ready to go when you get your tower going. Join our community of people who are sharing this information with others. Not everybody is going to grow a tower by any means. That wasn't my purpose when I started this here. It was to let everybody know they did have a choice and they could if they chose. But like the way I said, Cheryl, I am so inspired in the last couple months, even with all the negativity around us. We didn't ever hear on any, and I don't listen to the news per se, but I guarantee you we weren't blasting out. Let's stay home and let's get healthier. Now is the time. We have time on our hands. Let's go on the Internet. I mean, this is the time that we all have to realize we have so much control, and towers can simply help us take that to the next level. So it takes real food for real people to achieve real health. It's that simple. Juice Plus, as I mentioned before, is real food. (laughs) It's the micronutrients of, like I said, over 30 different fruits and vegetables that we can use and our body builds on to build a strong immune system, to get that red blood cells moving. All of that matters, but you still have to eat. So be the choice about what you eat, how you eat, and what you eat. And if you're on here and you're just growing a tower, and that's why you're invited, shoot. And if you're inspired like I am, then talk to the person you invited you and join our mission. We need more people doing just what we're doing. And that's inspiring healthy living around the world in no matter what modality that works. Mother's Day is coming up. I've done this for so long. Mother's Day happens here, and I always have people coming and buying towers. They're wanting to buy a tower for their mother. And when they do, a lot of times they'll just call, order a tower, and they want to hold it here. And I always thank that husband or child for loving their mother enough to put the thought into something like this because it's a gift that keeps on giving. It gives joy back to have a simple garden. It gives you your zen time. 
and it's productive, but keep an eye, keep an ear out too for what your mother might really would love for for um, Mother's Day, and it might just be a tower. Now, I didn't mean to sound like a commercial, um, Cheryl, but I just couldn't resist it because it's Mom's Day. I'm a mom, and so are you, and you have your towers, correct? Yes, as a matter of fact, and I have to be tickled every time I hear you talk uh, because, and Dr. Young is such a, she's got so much knowledge, and before we even ever, before we ever heard of towers, just her knowledge of food and, you know, food source and Juice Plus itself was so powerful. I've always loved listening to her. But what tickles me about the Tower Garden is I am probably, as far as knowledge of growing anything, my knowledge was zero. <laughs> okay, I was absolutely zero. And so I really didn't, it wasn't like I was drawn to it, you know, immediately as many people were. Um, and I'm fascinated by it. We do have six towers uh, and have had them for quite some time. Uh, actually, my grandson, uh, he and my daughter live here with me. And he's, from the time he was like a few months old until today, I mean, he's he's been part of the Tower Garden experience as well. And what tickles me is what I've, I've learned, that it's basically simple, it's delicious, uh, but it's fascinating to me when, uh, you know, you can, as you said, you harvest something, you, you cut the lettuce and, it, you know, you cut off what you need and it grows back. Or, you you know, that, I had no idea that happened. <laughs> I thought once you had it, it was done. And so it's it's almost like, and especially to my grandson, it's like magical. But it's very uh, exciting, I think, when, you know, we grow bell peppers and cucumbers and all the things that you mentioned. Uh, but it's very exciting when it's your own production. And now more than ever, I'm just so proud of, you know, the Tower Garden itself and what it'll do. So uh, it's it's turned out to be, as we said earlier, uh, our company president, Jay Martin, he, he's always referred to as visionary, and, of course, you helped him acquire the vision for this, but um, it is turning out to be something that is very foundational in our product line. And as Jan mentioned, you know, it is it is something that um, is, as I said, foundational, but it's truly it's a great representation of what we stand for as a company. Uh, our Juice Plus product is one, fruits, vegetables, berries, you know, in capsules, omegas now. Um, we also, as a company, our owner lease all the fields where our produce is grown. Very, very pure that goes into our Juice Plus product. And so all the standards that we're talking about as far as the Tower Garden and the purity of the food, that also comes through in our Juice Plus uh, product, our fruit, vegetable, and berry. Uh, and that's so foundational to our health. So, you know, Juice Plus itself really bridges the gap between what we eat and what we wish we could eat every day. But what's so great about the tower is it kind of fills in that gap, too, because we don't want to give up eating. And it's a beautiful way to uh, to really have that whole picture, you might say. And the other thing you said, Jan, that I think is so important, if we look at um, our Juice Plus product, uh, if we look at the tower, uh, it puts us in control, and I think that's a very, very important aspect of um, any situation that is a bit threatening. And right now our situation is one that is very challenging. Uh, so all the areas in your life where you really can be in control are very, very valuable. And so Juice Plus itself is for as foundational for your health, the tower, uh, as far as the means to be in control of your own food source. I mean, these things are very, very powerful, not only for our physical well-being, but for our mental well-being and our mental health as well. And so we do really find ourselves in a high-demand market. I have to thank Chris Jobs coined that phrase. But yeah. uh, very high-demand market uh, for our product line, the fruit, vegetable, and berry, and omega capsules. Uh, which, again, come from pure, you know, produce, which we have total hands-on from the ground up, our towers. Uh, our mission to share this with other people provides income for people as they begin and start their own business of sharing. 
And so we're we're very vital. I would say that we're essential workers, all of us. At this point. I would think so. And also, you have to be proud. Everybody on this phone has to be proud of being able to be in such service with right. the quality of what we offer and that it makes such a difference in people's lives. And yeah. truly does. And across the board, what we offer, you know, that's the thing. If And I just right now am so grateful for where we find ourselves. I, I, you know, talking to people at the home office today for one reason or another as we do our business, talking to other uh, people in leadership with our company, uh, talking to many of you on the line. I mean, how blessed we are. Uh, that we not only are in a high demand market for what we have and that we have a solid, you know, income, we have a wonderful way to be of service. Uh, you know, we, we really are uh, in a position which we have great gratitude for, and I just think we're very, yeah. very blessed. And, and it's also a call to action for us uh, to step up and make sure that we have the courage to share with other people, uh, to reach out to people and what we know is so powerful it would be wrong to keep it to ourselves. And so I, totally I think agree. we're we're really in a in a place of as you said we can be very proud. We also have to be very gracious and uh heart really have a heart for people in making sure that you do offer to everyone what you have. So um thank you so much uh Dr. Young for your input and again uh, always I felt like, you know, just such a great authority on food. I, And how many years have I known you now? 25, 20, something? Uh, 22 years. <laughs> 22 years. I knew it was somewhere between 20 and 25. And, you know, your commitment to food and pure food, I mean, from the very first day I met you, uh, it was very, very clear that this was a passion uh, in your life and, you know, the message to other people on what food could be in your life and how powerful it could be. And I think this is one that, and, you know, we're more relevant than we've ever been. Our story, uh, what we have to offer, it is a moral responsibility now. And uh, so I think we just need all to, to do our job, <laughs> okay? That's we're right. Do That's our job. Right. We, need to, we need to share with as many people as possible. That's We're essential it. workers, and we don't want to forget it. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so thank much, you, sir. Dr. Jan Young. We so appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. And we'll say thank good you, night, to everyone. We're going to be seeing a lot of people I know stepping into new positions as we have had a record-breaking month servicing other people. And so next week, I know we'll have a lot to announce as far as recognition is concerned, and I'll look forward to that as well. And hopefully we'll see you on a Zoom call somewhere in the next few days uh, as we are communicating very effectively and very happy to see each other. Stay connected uh, to everyone on your team and to the people that you know and love. Stay connected. Okay? Good night, folks. Good night. Good night, everyone.